Yo, what is going on, guys? Darkstar here, and I just want to talk to you guys quickly about a really dope game that just came out on the eShop a few days ago called Implosion Never Lose Hope. Now, this game came out a few days ago. It was pretty new. Not too many people knew about it, which I was a little surprised about because I've known about this game for about like a month or so because they announced it only about a month or so. And when I heard about it, when I saw the actual gameplay, that first trailer, the first CGI trailer that they showed off looked really cool. And then they showed off the gameplay, which is a little different. But at the same time, I still thought it was going to be pretty dope. I thought it was going to be pretty interesting. So I've been keeping my eye on this. I wasn't sure how it was going to release. I wasn't even sure if it was actually going to get a release date. And then late late June, probably like the last week of June, developer on Twitter came out and said it was going to come out uh, early July. So I was looking forward to it and everything. Uh, the day hit, the game came out, and it's pretty fucking good. So right off the bat, yes, it is a mobile game. Yes, this is, you know, just a $12 eShop title, it's digital downloads, not a huge big AAA third party exclusive, but you know what? I don't care because this game deserves recognition. These developers that put this game on the system deserve recognition right now, my boy, because this game is actually pretty fucking legit. It's funny because not too many people that I know knew about this game until it actually came out you know i told a couple of friends of mine in the discord a couple of friends of mine in real life even and they had never heard of this game they had never heard of implosion they didn't even know what was coming onto the system so i'm glad that i was able to at least spread the information you know spread awareness for this game because for me this is the type of game where developers putting in a lot of time and a lot of effort to make a solid port of a game for our system and it turned out really really well not only is this game running extremely well on the switch not only does it work extremely well on the switch not, not only is the switch the first console to get this game it's not like it came up to ps4 and xbox one you know a year ago and well we're, we're just now getting it now we're getting this this is the first console debut of this game this game was previously on mobile now it's coming to the nintendo switch it's its very first console debut and we're getting it first on top of all that it's extremely affordable on top of all that it's a very solid you know hack and slash kind of game if i were to if i were to describe this game i'd probably say it's like a diablo 3 top down view mixed with bayonetta combo styles mixed with you know metal gear rising aesthetics kind of something like that you know what i'm saying it's really really cool it's kind of weird the story's not amazing but it certainly isn't bad i know as far as the characters go jake is pretty dope i like him he's a likable character to me i think he's pretty funny i like the story isn't you know it's kind of like a bang that a story you know yeah it's there but you don't really care too much about it this isn't a review or anything this is kind of me just trying to make more awareness for this game this is a hidden gem for the nintendo switch right now like ps4 early ps4 had rezo gun uh xbox one had ori in the blind forest i think implosion could be a huge huge gem in the wii u library right now that i really want more people to look at in japan it's in the top five for the um for the eShop, which is really good north america it was at 15 when it debuted right now since last time i checked at the time of recording this video it's at 12 so it's, it's slowly rising on the eShop for a bestsellers list i really hope this game can get in the top five because honestly these developers deserve some support now a big thing in the nintendo switch community is that oh we don't get enough third party games we don't get a chance to prove to these these, these uh these third party developers that we want to play their games if they're really good and they're you know priced accordingly and and they're ported very well and they run smoothly and they're good game we don't get chances like that to show them well guys i'm sorry this is probably the best chance we're going to get for right now for right now in july this is probably one of the best chances we can get to show a third party developer indie or not that we're willing to back their game if it's going to be really good i don't know if you guys know about ocean horn 2 but that's the thing ocean horn 1 is on the nintendo switch right now but ocean horn 2 made by the exact same developers looks completely different if you look at these screenshots between ocean horn 1 and ocean horn 2 they're completely different these these mobile developers they ain't playing anymore my boy they ain't playing no more man they're being serious they're trying to get our money they're trying to give us games that we actually would want to play these guys ain't playing around implosion looks amazing ocean horn 2 looks amazing fucking gear club looks amazing these mobile devs know what they're doing and they're trying to give us quality games so when they make a game like ocean horn or when they make a game like implosion we have to support them this is a 12 dollar eShop game my boy it's 12 fucking dollars don't tell me you don't have 12 dollars to, to give these developers this game is actually pretty good you like bandana it plays like that you like metal gear rising it's got kind of like that nice aesthetic with the cyber 
thunder blade type shit it's fucking dope you like the top down view of diablo it's got that it's pretty cool the levels are short and sweet the gameplay is it's a rock solid 60 frames per second and it's just really good these developers have put a lot of time and effort to make this game the best version of the game possible or even available for that matter so i really feel like it would be a damn shame if nintendo fans y'all niggas don't support this by buying it it's only 12 dollars on the eShop. it's three gigs it ain't gonna take up that much space on your hard drive i say go out there and pick up this game or at least check it out what i'm gonna be doing because i feel like these developers have done such a great job with this game for my next few live streams, probably sometime next week, I'll be doing, I'll be giving away eShop card. Like if, if you can't afford this game, here's what I'm gonna do. If y'all niggas can't afford this game, cause I understand, sometimes times are tough, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you ain't got the cash on you, whatever. I'm gonna be giving away eShop cards so you can pick up this game. I'll be doing eShop card giveaway so y'all niggas can pick up this game on the eShop. It's that serious. I really, really want these developers to get some recognition, get some support, because imagine if they make an implosion too. Go back to what I said about or, about uh, about Oceanhorn. The scale of Oceanhorn 1 to 2 is, the jump is humongous. You can barely even tell it's the same game. Now imagine if these developers make implosion 2, right? But we don't support implosion 1, and it looks drastically different, and it looks drastically more impressive, and all, and it looks so much better in this time than the third. Y'all niggas gonna want that game. I can guarantee you y'all niggas gonna want that game. But if you don't support this one, you can't complain if we don't get the next one. All right, if we can't even support these small $12 eShop third-party games, why in the hell are you gonna complain about big titles like Battlefield and Call of Duty? If y'all niggas can't support developers that are taking the time that are making good ports for reasonable prices on the eShop, indie developers, mobile developers, my boy, I don't wanna hear nothing about y'all niggas complaining about no third party support from the big guy because y'all can't even support these smaller developers. So you know what? Let's start here. Fuck you know, begging for Call of Duty and all that. Let's start with Implosion, my boy. This game is actually lit. It's been getting a lot of exposure. A lot of YouTubers have been putting up videos and a lot of people have been buying it. I think it could do better, though. I think this game can end up in that top five on the eShop chart. So I really think you should check out this game. It's on the eShop right the fuck now. $12. It ain't expensive. And if you can't afford it, next week I'll be doing live streams. I'll be giving away eShop cards so you can pick up this game on the eShop for yourself. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want to make a quick, quick video about this game. I think it's really dope. These developers deserve our support and quite frankly if we don't give it to them we can't blame no one but ourselves if more games don't come to the switch like this so let me know what you guys think about this game in the comment section below have you picked it up do you like it how you feeling about it so far let me know uh, if you like this video hit the like button you know if you're new subscribe i do videos like this uh, every week and uh, i will catch you guys in the next video peace out